Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on this prone system replication. So the big screen in the left is the server and other two are clients. Now you can see the server to client replication is working by looking at this demonstration. And also you can see this uh, character is uh, changing the body's orientation to match the slope of the ground beneath so we worked on those things before so as you can see it is replicating properly now if I try from here that also see now client to client and client to server rep, uh, replication is also working for the prone system let me try from this client as well so yeah so this is what we are going to work on today how to replicate prone system that we have implemented in unreal engine 5 and in case you uh, haven't watched the previous videos that i worked on the prone system without the replication part that's also available in my channel i'll leave a link in the description below so you can watch them before this if you want to know how to implement prone with the mannequin or any character in Unreal Engine. And before we get started, I'd like to remember that all the projects that I'm working on this uh, in my channel is available for you to download in my Patreon page. Links would be in the description below. Not just this project, you can download all the projects, all thousands of videos, projects for the videos that I have down created in the channel for the membership. It's pretty cheap. It's worth it. All right, let's get started. So now, if I, you know, so this is in the single player mode. In order to test replication, we will have to have at least two players, but I will have three players. And net mode, I'll set to listen player and new editor window. They are in the other screen. Let me drag. Now, uh, the middle character is stuck because not enough space. But we can simply fix it. If I duplicate this start, it works. See, now they are spaced out. Okay, now the simple moment is replicated already from uh client to client and server to server but the prone as you can see it's not working properly it i think it should only work in the server but still you see the character goes crazy in other screens okay so let's start fixing let me open my character and here so this is this is the input that i use to toggle prone mod so i let me collapse this part to a single node so we can keep the code clean organized oh i pressed f1 f1 oh. Okay, now here we need two functions. So I'm gonna replicate this using a uh, RPC or remote procedure call that involves uh, a function that execute on the server and a multicast function. So let me create them and explain. First, we need a custom event. I'll name this total on server so this should run on server so when i call this from a client this function will be invoked in the server so from the server whatever we call will be replicated and another custom event okay. 
multicast so this function i'll mark as multicast so what this does is replicate this event from server to everyone else so we have to have this multicast enabled or execute on all enabled if we want to replicate whatever we are doing here into other instances and things can be replicated only from server to client so that's why we need to call this in the client so when we call this function test uh, toggle from server we need to repl uh, we need to replicate everything so here simply i'll call toggle from multicast because this will be running on server and this toggle from multicast i'll connect to this already implemented toggle from uh, code that i have here and i'll disconnect this input from here okay now whenever i press left out which is the input that i have if you want you can press any enable uh, you can use any input based on enhanced input system or like it is input system but here just for simplicity i have only used this key event so here we have to check has authority so authority means that means we are in the server when we press this input if we are in the server we can simply call toggle on multicast because we are already in the server we already have the authority so if we simply call this things will be replicated from server to everyone else but if you are remote that means if you are a client calling this multicast will not uh, make things replicated because we are in a client so what we need to do is call toggle from server so when i call this this will not actually run on the client it will run on server when it runs on server it will replicate things to other instances of other clients right now uh, the prone system should work somewhat not completely so the character goes to prone but as you can see animation mode is not changed if i test from here it also place the animation and change the capsule but still animation is not changing properly and we got this error as well so the reason is this uh, here we are using this animation blueprint reference and this is the animation blueprint we are using avp many here we have this proning uh, variable so if we are in the prone mode we have this we have this uh, blank space this is what we are using uh, but it's a bit complicated to it's not easy to uh, replicate things inside animation blueprint so it's usually easier to replicate things from uh, the character blueprint and animation blueprint should be reading from the character so that's makes things easier so therefore i'm thinking of teaching this uh, variable and using this variable that we already have in the character blueprint so let me just delete this part and where else i use this just set in the reference so i'll delete that part also right now here in the event graph we already have this cast node and we save uh, we cast the owning actor to a character and save it to this character type variable 
So here I'll change this instead of a character bp wait pass to bp third person character. So we can access the prone variable but we can't do that yet because this variable is in the type of character this also has to be pp third person character usually i set up whenever i have to uh, do things like this usually i set up an interface and do the communication through interface rather than relying on casting to avoid coupling between components in the code but for now i'll just do it this way to keep things simpler uh, right now where do i use this prony here okay now instead of using prony here from the character we should get prony in variable and use that and get rid of this okay compile now let's check okay so as you can see the character vanished so what happens here is this it happens even if i try to replicate try to prone from a client as well so what happens here is i did a bit of a research so when in here we change the capsule half height and the relative location of the mesh when we go into the prone mode so if i leave the capsule visible you can see that now you can see so if i go to prone mode now you see uh, the capsule got smaller and to match that we have to move the character as well but for some reason character goes beneath the ground we can't see that here but if i use the selected v4 we can see it clearly now here let me go to prone mode and here if i enable wireframe now you see the character is there but it's it's below the ground so this happens because this local relative location of the mesh is not replicated properly i don't re understand 100 percent why that happens but the solution for this is we have to use this uh, cache mesh oh what's the note cache uh, cache initial mesh offset we have to use this so here we already have 270 or minus 90 as the relative rotation we need to keep that we don't need to change that and for z component i'll put this and we do have the similar thing when we go from prone to stand up here here also we need to do the same thing otherwise the mesh relative location doesn't work properly so this did i connect the correct one yeah okay now if i test Now you see it works correctly see so client server is working let's test from 
client to client and client to server yeah it's also working test this guy too yeah everything is working correctly now our prone system is properly replicated and one more thing just enable hidden in game so we don't see the capsule okay so that's all and thanks for watching i'll post the updated project files in the patreon page put the link in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye